Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, you've always wanted to make a photogrammetry of something. There's definitely that one thing that you've always, always wanted to convert to 3D. And in most cases, you either lack the equipment, like the software, and you're just wondering how can I get this happening. Today, we're going to take a look at Reality Capture version 1.2 made available by the folks at Epic Games. And there's just a couple of cool things with this one that makes a lot of sense. So if you've always wanted to take images, convert them to 3D objects, and probably just print these things or use them for your game art or for your movie, then Reality Capture seems to be a tool that you should consider checking out. So one of the beautiful things with Reality Capture is despite the fact that they've been bought by Epic right now, you can actually download Reality Capture for free. Now you might be asking how do you process your data and all that stuff. And for that, we're going to dive directly into Reality Capture and take a look at how this actually works. So with Reality Capture open here, how you can work with this is super easy. The UI seems to be very, very self-explanatory. There's a couple of tabs here that you need to just simply follow. Now over here is where the images you would work with exist. The properties exist here. And this is a viewport where the model or the point clouds that you'll be working with will exist. You can choose to switch your workspace layout however you want so depending on how you like your viewport there's a couple of options that you can pick from getting started you can either simply use the map wizard which is a very quick and easy way for you to make photogrammetry you can also use a real-time assistance and this simply means that you can connect a device to this and once you start taking images automatically starts building that you can select a set of images and load them in you can select the folder you can also choose to select video sequence and bring them in now, in terms of using things like laser scans, you can also use laser scans. And all of these are just ways that you can bring in data into reality capture. So let's simply go ahead and impute some images right here. So for these images, we went over to the roundabout that is close to the castle area of Famagusta. So I currently live in North Cyprus, Famagusta to be precise. There's this magnificent statue that embodies a couple of memories and also history about North Cyprus. And it is just something that is very beautiful to look at. So what I did was go over there take a couple of drone shots and then those drone shots are what we're going to feed into reality capture so once you add all the images in here you can see all of them you can choose to preview these things if you want so you can select any of them and then you can just simply click on this particular layout so you can preview what you have and once you're done and you've loaded all your images in you can just easily go over to this section that says start if you like to align your images first of all you can but you know you want to get things up and running real fast click on the start button and allow the system to go through read the images create point clouds out of them and essentially make them 3d models now one of the cool things with the start button is at the end of the day it's going to colorize this and not texture it but however if you like to texture this you can actually make those changes within the settings so you can also proceed to minimize this and explore a couple more things so within the align section or the alignment section you can choose to align point clouds and other things depending on the kind of results you get now we in your mesh model you can choose to reconstruct your model in different level of detail you can colorize these things texture them unwrap them you can check your topology and at the same time because we're within the mesh model section we can also proceed to export a couple of things there's also a view section which is also responsible for things that you can view and you can see we have about two of them there's a tool section which you can use to tweak and make some changes directly on the model itself. So these are very nice set of things that have been made available by the folks at Reality Capture. And most of these things, you probably wouldn't be needing them since 95% of the time, once you're within the workflow, you know, you load up your images or you simply use any of these methods, you hit your start button, 95% of the time, you get a clean photogrammetry that is just waiting for you to grab and throw into your DCC app. Now let's go ahead and hit the progress section one more time and show the progress and actually wait for this to calculate and we will be back all right now this is ready we can now explore a couple more things so how you move around your viewport is super easy you can see that reality capture has actually gone through to give us something looking very nice so if you hold on your left mouse button you can click and drag forward and backward to zoom in and out and your right mouse button you can click and drag left and right to actually orbit around your model and of course if you like to pan you can hold down control on your keyboard and with your left mouse button you can pan left and right and with what we have here you can see that we have a pretty decent looking photogrammetry so this is just with a couple of images and you can already start seeing the beautiful thing that we have now if you would like to export this of course this is going to be very heavy to export the entire scene looks pretty dense 
So with this here, we would like to define a certain area since this is quite heavy to work with. So what we can do is we can go over to the view section, go all the way to where we have the clipping box. And if you click on the drop down button, you can see a couple of options, but we're just simply going to click on create clipping box. And with that, we can click to define an area. So we can click to define an area like this, and we can click and drag all the way up to just define this point. So in this way, you now have an area that you can work with. And for the most part, if you would like to even define this even way more say you like to get these to be cropped up about a point like so and maybe this to be cropped up about a point like this and you know you just want to get this to the original or to the principal model as close as possible then you can get this happening so once we have this going we can now go all the way out let's see what we have all right so we can go all the way out go back to the view click on this one more time to get rid of that and this particular box which is more like your walking area of course you can also you know crop this in but then if you don't want to go in and you know select the box and start cropping it in what you can do is with this selected you can go over to the mesh model section click on the set region button click on the drop down and click on set region from clipping box and once you do that automatically you would notice that you have something pretty nice that you can proceed to start working with so now that we have this ready the next thing which we would like to do is to export this and use it let's say for our art or any other thing that we want to work with if you like to clean your model you can Definitely clean the model, check the topology if this is what you want. And in this case, our topology seems to be okay since everything is fine. And you could also choose to correct the colors just in case there are certain inconsistencies with colors as opposed to what you have in real life. And with this ready, the next thing which you need to do is just simply export the mesh and then bring it into your 3D app of choice. In this case, since we are in ZBrush, what we need to do is just work on some of the details just to get a couple of details on the model. Now, once you're done with this model, of course, you can ship this out to any DCC app of choice and start doing some amazing lighting or probably start rendering this or you can proceed to print this and have it for yourself. And this is more like it. So for those who like to test this app, just like I mentioned earlier, you can proceed to download this app for free and start working with it now the beautiful thing with reality capture is the pricing so you don't necessarily need to pay for something that you are not using and this makes a lot of sense because at this point if you're dealing with a laser scan that is about 582.75 million points in scan then you can simply pay ten dollars to just get that happening and if you're dealing with something that is even way more then you can pay based of what you're actually working with. For those who are into things like cultural heritage and architecture, or maybe you're into films and games, or maybe into VR, you know, survey, mapping, full body scan, or even 3D printing, then you should consider checking out this beautiful tool that has a very wonderful and accurate way of representing what you capture in real life. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss next video or the next update and until i see you guys in the next one peace